Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. New trial date set for the man accused of kidnapping and killing six-year-old Isabel Sellis and 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez. This week, a Pima County Superior Court judge moved the trial set to begin this month to later this fall. Christopher Clements faces first-degree murder charges for the death of both girls. Isabel Sellis first reported missing in 2012 and Maribel Gonzalez in 2014. Court documents revealed both girls were found in the same area of Aver Valley and Trico Roads years apart. Clements is currently on trial in Maricopa County for burglary. Arizona's three public universities are joining forces with the help of a $3 million grant from the Arizona Board of Regents to research prevent and prevent uh, treatment strategies for valley fever. Now, valley fever tends to have symptoms uh, similar to the flu, like fever, coughing, and chills. One expert tells us it's difficult to pinpoint where valley fever actually comes from. It could relate to rodents and where they live. It could relate to alkalinity of the soil. It could relate to other factors about the soil. He says the project will help researchers understand what makes the fungus spread and which strains cause people to actually get sick. Our Operation Safe Road Stories often take a look at how to keep drivers safe on southern Arizona streets. Now we're looking at the crews helping build and maintain those roads. The Arizona Department of Transportation reports 73 people have died in work zone related crashes in the last five years. In addition, 122 people have been seriously hurt. Our number one hazard in the business we do, which is repairing and building roads, is traffic. People driving drunk, people texting when they're drunk, people not paying attention and driving into our work zones and actually physically hitting our workers. Transportation officials say every work site should have a posted speed limit and they ask drivers to follow those signs. Let's take a look at the uh, weather now. The wind finally settling down across southern Arizona and temperatures also staying much cooler than average. Tonight in Tucson we'll see clear skies with chilly temps. The overnight low dropped to 42 degrees. Much warmer air will return to the region as we get closer to the Easter weekend. Look at the temperatures warming up into the low 90s over the weekend and expect those uh, mid-90s to return on Monday.